Hey everybody, and welcome back to Schism. We are here in the abandoned shipyard area, and I've decided in between videos to disable the mouse cursor, because I noticed that it was kind of flickering, which I don't know what the cause of that is, but it doesn't look that way on my screen. So, anyway, I'm hoping it's not showing up now. Well, I'll see when I get to the uh, uh, post-recording parts, but... Uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and head back to the uh, lower levels and check out that gondola thing, because that was the next thing that we haven't yet really taken a good look at. And uh, right now, I don't really have a whole lot to go off of, uh, just as kind of a confession here, right? I don't really know what we're doing. It seems like the, the goal, if what we've heard so far is to be believed, is that we need to collect these navigational charts or coordinates or something and plug them in but I don't think it's going to be that easy. I think we're going to have to find a way to interpret the coordinates as well. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there's a lot of things in this game that are kind of a little startling wait a minute there's a path over here okay I didn't know there was something over here Alright, so I can't go in there, but I can go here. Got it. So this goes back down. Interesting. I am definitely liking the visuals of this game a lot. It's like this... I, I believe this is all pre-rendered. I, I looked up some information after the first video, and it sounds like it's pre-rendered, and we just got a transition there. I'm not really a big fan of that, because it kind of takes me out of the game, but oh well. Okay, and now we're over here. Is this a completely new area? Oh no, I I can't go over there. This is the... Uh, I think we saw this from the, the other side. Okay, so what's the point of coming over the, this way? I do not know. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's really anything to see here. I'll do one more check, but... Uh, wait a minute, what was that? It's just a pattern. Okay. Okay, this takes me all the way over. Like, there's no in-between. Huh, okay. Well, I guess we're heading back upstairs. Get a, the transition part again. I'm just going to look around just to make sure I'm not missing anything here, but so far I'm not really seeing anything. Um, this looks pretty empty to me. There's no way to go in there, so... Oh, but we can look up. I keep forgetting to look up. I really like the fact that you can do that. Also, this music is very atmospheric. Uh, I mean, I love the music that's more melodic, but for a game like this, sometimes this can be a really nice choice. And I think this game does a pretty good job of using this kind of music, so... Kudos to whoever composed it. I, I'm always a fan of music that services the, the stuff that you're doing, and doesn't really take you out of whatever you're experiencing, so... It's always nice when that happens. Alright, so I believe we have to go back downstairs to do this. The bad news about not capturing my cursor is that you won't really get to see me point anything out on screen. But uh, I'm hoping that won't be too much of an impediment for the Let's Play. Okay, so this is the bridge. This is the broken segment. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting kind of the more of the hang of the geography sort of so I believe we have to go around the, uh, counterclockwise if I remember correctly the way this is laid out reminds me of something I think I'm thinking of I don't know, it was something kind of with an Arabian Nights sort of theme oh um, it was uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm thinking of this Captain Toad from uh, you guys remember Captain Toad, right? For those of you who are Nintendo fans. Um, it was like this puzzle platformer, but it wasn't really that much of a platformer because you couldn't jump. But 
I don't know, just the way it was laid out had all these multiple levels and stuff, and you had to be very careful about how you manage the multiple levels. For some reason, this reminds me of that. I, I don't know why, and maybe it's not the best comparison, but... Uh, we got some fire or something there. Can I go and look at that? Uh, I can't move. Okay, there we go. Now I can move. Okay, so apparently I can only walk... I can't even stop at that midpoint there. Interesting. I can't walk around there? Alright. I suppose we're gonna go this way then. Okay, something is going on over there. Because it's not letting me through until something finishes. Also, I can't go there. Nor can I really look up either. Okay, let me try this again and just see if I can pick up what's going on a little bit more clearly. The nice thing is if we get stuck, we can always switch over to Sam, right? Okay, that's fluttering around, and then it splashes. Okay, nothing crazy, but you never know. I mean, you got to watch out for little clues. Okay. There seems to be a little more going on over here. I don't want to go all the way down again, so let's... Let's take a look at whatever this is. There is some kind of spike, or... I don't know what this is at all. This, I wish I knew what to do with this lantern thing, or whatever this inventory item is. Can I click on the torches? No, I can't. I can just go over here. Now, this is curious. Ah! Oh, here we go. It actually tells you. You can put it there. Okay, so what does that do? Can I interact with it? Oh, here we go. Okay. So there are, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 marks. Was 14 the number that we had agreed was the number of mark thingies in uh, that initial scale that we saw? Because I remember we saw a number there. I'm going to look up the picture I took on my phone here real quick. It looks like it's 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't know what this is used for. Can I do anything with it? Oh, I see, so... I gotcha. Okay. I think what this is, is this is basically a... kind of a lights out kind of puzzle. Okay, let's do number four. Because that should extend these two, and then retract that one. Let's see if the theory is correct. No, it did those ones. So is it the other way around? So let's see, four from the right is there. So did that... Yeah, okay, so it's reversed. I'm pretty sure it's reversed. So if I do three... Or excuse me, if I do two... Let's see what happens there. This should activate... Yep, there you go. Okay, so it's kind of on a torus, because this also coincided over there with that. At least that's what it looked like. Let's just keep doing it until we, we get something here. So, I'm going to just kind of chase them down. Um, like that. So now, I'm going to do this one next, because that will hit that one. So let's go to the fifth one. Like that. Okay, perfect. And then we'll do two more down. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to figure out what I was going to do here again. So it's six. Yeah, six. So this should be... This right there should be correct. Okay, good. So now let's move down to the eighth one. All right. And then move down to... How many are there? Fourteen, was it? Yeah, fourteen. So the tenth one. So we're kind of going two at a time. Okay, good. 
And then the eleventh one. Or no, sorry. Yeah, the eleventh one. I think it's the eleventh one. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, if I do this, the twelfth one, these two will go down, and this one will come up, and then it's just a matter of doing the thirteenth one. So let's do that. Alright, and then that should do. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So if I take it with me, can I... No, 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 no. Can I take the whole thing with me, or is it going to stick? I think it's going to stay there. Yeah. Let's just leave it there. I mean, if we need to bring it, that with us, I know where to find it at least, but I don't see a way to even get it. Alright, so, with that done... Alright, there you go. Not sure if I'd be brave enough to try walking through that in real life, but... Uh, I mean, I suppose if you have to do what you have to do, you'll do it, right? Well, that's interesting. There's another one of these... Um, island things over there, but this one looks different. It has more greenery in it. I don't know if that's plant life or if that's something else. I mean, we've got plants over here. Alright, can I go anywhere else? I can look at this. There's some kind of device. Oh, it's a little scooter. I am loving the forms of transportation that are in this game. It's pretty awesome. Alright. I'm hoping there will be some way to like quickly get around, because I can see walking around here being a little tedious if we have to do a lot of backtracking. Okay. Can I look at... Wait. Did I just nudge myself to the left, or was that just me turning? I'm hoping that was just me turning. Alright, I don't want to click on that, because then I'm going to be forced to go back. As far as I know, you cannot skip the animations here, so... So I can only look up at this point. That's interesting. Oh, and I can look up more? What? Oh, no, that's the down thing. Okay. So I can... Oh, here! There's a path. Okay, that's nice. So that's where we came from. And I think the original area is behind that wall, I want to say. Like the first spot that we went to. All right. Things are moving along here. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's more green to see here. Oh, there's a platform. Uh, do I want to ride this right now? I kind of don't want to at this point. Let's. I'm going to make a policy here of sticking with uh, whatever floor we're on unless we absolutely have to go somewhere else. So, like, I'm going to go here first. And we've got a telescope-looking spyglass thingy. You can also walk over that way. Look up. I like the sky in this world. It's very, uh, intriguing. So, why, how can I interact with you? Can I interact with you? Nope. Okay. I feel like I'm getting more used to the controls now. I say as I accidentally move myself around. Is there another path? This just goes back around. The music definitely got a little more mysterious and kind of uh, foreboding here, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, here we go. I can walk this way. Okay. So is that the path that leads me? Nope. Why can't I look at the spyglass? How do I look at it? There's more of that green goopy stuff. Alright. Uh, ooh. I think maybe that's the ground moving. That little f sensation of like, whoa, what is that? Uh, this nudging, I guess you could call it, going on. So yeah, I cannot look at the spyglass. So I think my only option is to go on that elevator thing. So, let's check it out. Um, just looking at this one more time, but I'm not seeing anything here. I 
Okay, so I can only go up. Okay. Okay. How far up are we? Can't go that way. It's just this way. Whoa! We got a lot of things going on here. We got a lot of stuff to look at. There's a... I don't know what this is. Oh, wait! I can't switch! Why can't I switch? Oh, I can only do it when I'm not zoomed in. Okay. Sorry, I just noticed that and I was like, what? Okay, so maybe we have to do something first before we can actually look at something there. So there's a bunch of what appear to be control panels or something here. And I can look at this from this angle. That's interesting. Why can I look at this from this angle? Oh, I see. I can walk up to this one. Okay. So I can set this green crystal thing to a spot and then okay I can manipulate a bunch of knob looking thingies interesting and that triggers some lights Let's try a different combination so that's three so these all have a different number Okay, so it looks like this is just six, six, whoa. Okay, so it sounded like that was 12, and if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, it's like a clock, basically. I'm not really sure what the significance of this, this, of this is, though. So on 6, it gives us a slightly longer buzz. 6, 7. Oh, 7 also does, too. Oh, I see. These here control... Okay, I see how this works now. So if I do this... Well, let's try this out. If I do this, it's going to be... I, I can almost guarantee you it will be... Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, no? That's interesting. Oh, maybe it's left to right. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, so it goes from here to here. I see now. Interesting. Okay, so that's cool to know. I, I don't know what the solution is, though. Um, we got another contraption here. Oh! Here we are. So this is how we set... What I'm assuming are the coordinates? That's got it. Whoa. Sam, I'm on my way. Looks like I'll see you at base one after all. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to do anything. No. Was that right? Like, I, I didn't even mean to solve anything. I... Uh-oh. What, what? Okay, I'm sailing somewhere. So this is a ship. This whole, this whole thing is a ship that works. So I'm guessing that the ones that looked more run down were ones that didn't... Um, have uh, any functionality anymore, I guess? Please tell me I didn't just happen to guess the right solution by a complete accident. I'm guessing that no matter what you do, putting your hand there is what you need to do. I I don't know. So my question here is, if we missed all the clues from earlier, does that mean that um, we could go back? And by clues, I'm talking about the... Uh... Okay, that doesn't work. I'm talking about those tablet things. So if I put in a new... I really hope I just didn't happen to guess the right combination for this thing. Okay, it doesn't work. Alright, I have no idea what I just did. I... 
I feel really weird about this. So, I guess this is like a covering that the ship... Huh, interesting. It's like a covering that the ship uh, encloses itself within. How do I get out? Is there a way to get out? I'm a little worried. Like, I, I didn't mean to trigger an entire cutscene. And I, uh... Wait a minute, there's this thing. Nothing new there. Okay. What about this? Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to, th to find was this thing. Okay. Oh, here we go. This area doesn't have the covering. So I'm wondering if we can see more of our new surroundings. It looks like we're just out in the middle of nowhere now. Quite a view. It kind of reminds me of Riven in some ways with those clouds, you know. So I still can't interact with this. Hmm. Can I do anything with this anymore? Because there used to be that chair thing, but I don't know if that's really going to work here or now. At least I thought it was there. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I don't know what we did. <laughs> or where we're going. Like, I, I'm i feeling really nervous now, because I'm hoping that we didn't uh, completely ruin everything. Maybe just putting your hand on there triggers that. I'm hoping that's what happened. But still, that, that makes me still wonder about what we would do had we missed clues in the, the previous area. Like, what would we have done? Can we go back to the previous area? Okay, that kind of shook there. I'm just making sure there's nothing... Oh, let's see if this can work now. No. Nothing there. Hmm. If I get stuck, I'll switch over to Sam, but I'm trying to avoid doing a lot of switching unless I really have to. Alright, let me just do one more check of the upper area. And I'm gonna pull up my pictures of those navigational aid doohickey things. And see if I could find something. All right. So the one thing, I'm looking at the photo right now, the one thing that's interesting is that there's these two tablets, and both of the tablets have kind of this, uh, wait, let me try using this now. They have like a symbol at the top, and I'm wondering if there's a matching symbol. Okay, that's still the same. I'm wondering if there's a matching symbol on each of these, because there's two of these I'm noticing. So if I go here, there's this loopy thing. But I don't see that anywhere... Oh, wait! No, I do. I do see it on the third row of each of the navigational chart things. And then that... Uh, that looks like an inverted version of the top symbol on each of the navigational aid things. Yeah. Or at least that's what it looks like. I'm, I'm just double-checking, but... Well, wait a minute. Sort of. It's. It feels like it's both the top and the third symbol. Let me just make sure those are the same. Are those the same? Okay. So, there's three concentric circles. So, I'm assuming we start from left as the innermost one and go to right? Is that how it works? Oh, wait a minute. No, these are all... Oh. Hang on. I see three claw marks and then a dot. So I don't understand... Huh. I don't understand what these dot things mean by themselves, because I don't see a dot thing by itself anywhere. 
And I can't seem to select multiple ones. Unless you're supposed to do one on the left and then one on the right, maybe? Is that how you do it? I do find it weird that this is upside down. Or at least it looks upside down. That's, that's bothering me. I don't know if that's important or not. There's no way this can be brute forced. I mean, I'd, I'd like to think that we didn't just guess that. Because the odds against such coincidence are astronomical, like bordering on impossible, even. Okay, is there anything I'm missing over here? Why can I go this way? Is there really a reason for going this way? I can go here. I went there earlier, though. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh! Hi there. Um, so that was interesting. Why did that happen? And what is that stuff, anyway? Oop. This way. Hmm. I cannot interact with anything here. Ooh, we got more shaky shakiness there. I feel like we don't yet have enough information to solve this. Because right now... Uh, where's that first panel? It, this looks like it, but I think it's actually this. Can I get to this? What is that, anyway? I don't think I ever saw that. No, 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 don't walk all the way there. Ah... So I think the the initial leaving of the area was due to um, us pressing the hand, but maybe there's more to it than that, because there's got to be more to this part, at least. Like, I'm curious to know what this is all about. There's got to be a reason why you can flip these. Like, I'm thinking that this is like a Morse code sort of generator thing. I'm probably overthinking all of this. I'm wondering if the pattern of this chair means something. Like, I, I'm seriously wondering about that. The other thing that's curious about this is that uh, this light is on. And there's a button there, but these cannot be interacted with. So I'm wondering if we have to enter several things, actually. Okay. So I don't know what the bottom set of coordinates in each of the tablets is really for. Like, there's nothing here that really suggests that it ties to either set of bottom coordinates, because the top, or the, the thing on the left is like a, it looks kind of like the pound symbol, you know, in, uh, like, the British currency. So, yeah, I don't know. That's the first one here. At least it looks like that. On the the uh, the second tablet we found, and then the second symbol looks more like that, but with another line, like another vertical line thing, like that. So how can I? How can all these coexist? That's the that's the problem here. Is that these can't really coexist with each other. And these all look the same, too, so I I do not know what to make of this. And there's still, I don't see, I see that. That's the, the first symbol. It seems like everything I need is on the outer edge, which is a problem. Like, the next symbol in the sequence, it looks like this, but it has two dots. And I don't see another one that has two dots. So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe these are extensions of this. Is that it? Like, the, so because these are extensions of this, right? Oh, okay, I, you can't see my cursor, but right now I'm pointing at the east side of the uh, astrolabe or whatever you want to call this. And the final symbol on the outermost circle on the east point. And then you notice as you go inward that dots are added. But here, 
this is not the case. There are dots, but there is no symbols on the non like cardinal direction points. So I'm wondering if the innermost ones are the same symbols, but they're just signifying that there are dots being added. So maybe that's what's going on. So if that's the case, okay, that gives me a new lease on life here. That's got to be the solution for that part, and then this almost certainly for that part. All right, so now let's go to this one. I don't know which is left and which is right. I'll try both if I have to, though. I'm feeling pretty good about this. So this is the left one, and then this is the next one here, and then the final one, I think, is this. Let's try the pushing the hand, or pushing this. Hey! There we go! Oh man, I'm so happy that we figured it out. Like, the, the way the symbols were arranged felt a little weird at first, but once I understood what they were doing, it made total sense. And I'm hoping that more puzzles will be like that, because that was a very well done logic puzzle. Oh wait, that just takes us back here. Oh, so that's how you get back. Okay. So, at least I'm assuming this is where we were. Yeah, because that pathway is where we started. Okay. Let me try switching. Okay. I'd be curious to know what happens if we tried switching everything. So right now, this one over here is the one that correlates to the first tablet we found, but if we switched them, I'm wondering if that will solve our problem here. Well, first of all, can we use the hand thing without... Yeah, okay. We can totally do that. Can I skip this, by the way? No, I can't. So using the hand symbol is like, like but without having the right coordinates just takes you out here. Okay. That much we know. So... Is there something that we have to do out here and then go back? Is that the whole point? Let me just try my theory here. I'm going to see if this works. So, that was the one for that side. And then on this side, we had the... Uh, we're going to do the other one. So, it's three claws with a single mark like that. And then this one. And then the eye thing, I believe, with three. All right, what happens if I try this? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so it looks like we had it correct, which is good, but we need to use more than just that. We need to get the other set of symbols able to be plugged in. Hey, I got an idea. I wonder what would happen. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if we tried using the other, like the crossed out ones. You know what? I'm going to save my game here just in case this takes us somewhere bad. So in this case, the leftmost one had this, and then the next one was three with the mark above it, and then the third one was two things with no marks, just the dots. I can find those. Here we go. Alright, and then we've got this. The other side was the eye thing, and then this... And then the... Where are we? Right here. Okay, let's try that. Is that gonna do something? Nope. Okay. Okay, so we know how to get back. That's good. The question, though, is... Can we manipulate this to move to a different area? Because that would be great. 
I would really love it if we could do that. And I would really love it if we could look at this. I mean, what, what's going on with this thing? Why can't we look at this? I don't see any way to look at it. It's weird. I'm still wondering if there's just something I'm missing with respect to this area. Like being able to find uh, a clue or something, some way to manipulate the uh, the uh, stuff here while we're out in the ocean. This is still bothering me. Like, I, I do not know what this is all about, but it's definitely bothering me. I'd like to think this this game is not one of those things where you can only do things, like certain things in a certain location, and like you can't even interact with a, an object or something outside that location. Oh, hi, uh, okay. Uh, I guess we can just look up. That's curious. I'm, maybe we have to get some diving gear and go underwater. That'd be interesting. Oh, so you can do this pretty much everywhere. I like the marine life down there. Hmm. I'm just double checking everything. If I can't find anything here, I think I'm just going to go back to... Or, uh, switch over to Sam and see if uh, we can make some progress with his story. Because right now, I am not seeing any way to do anything here. But at least we know how to sail a ship now. That's pretty cool. Or at least we partially do. So I think I'm going to stop the video here. So until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves today. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, ring that bell if, uh, to get notified of uh, the next episode. And I will catch you on the flip side.